All right, what is up, everyone? This is Ciro Zaziri hanging out here at Sweetwater Drum Month, joined this time by Joshua Crawford, or Josh Crawford, <laughs> yeah, either one, Josh, either Joshua, one. whatever. So, uh, yeah, you're going <laughs> to share a bit about how you approach getting your kick more incorporated into your uh, fill specifically, which we're going to talk about here, but I'm sure a lot of this will apply to grooves as well. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, you go so, ahead. Yeah, so pretty much uh, a very simple concept is pretty much you, everybody knows their rudiments, but pretty much go through your rudiments and the easiest way to apply this is through that pattern, you pretty much, everything your right hand does, you want to do it with your right foot. Mm. So I do paradiddles, for example. You know, paradiddles. So you apply like this. And if you do paradiddle diddles, which is so it's yeah. Pretty I like that. Yep. So you're basically taking like any 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 stick. Now we're talking rudiments, but it could be really any sticking. Doesn't have any to be a, a named rudiment, so to speak. It could be any of your favorite sticking, something that you're already playing with your hands, mm -hmm. and just adding in a sort of a some sort of criteria, right? So now you added your bass drum on the right, the on your right hand right notes. Hand. And yep. I imagine you're gonna say, oh, you can switch it to the left notes, and you can, you know, if you're left-handed. Yeah. 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 You, you just to get, just to get the notes in different places. Yeah. That, that's right. a whole nother. If you're right handed and trying that, that's a whole nother. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, you can also do. So this is uh, from the great George Spanky McCurdy. This is called a partial diddle. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much it's five notes. It's All right, right. So right, left, right, right, left. Right, so left, it's a, right, it's a right, left. right side paradiddle and left to end it off. Yep. So it's sort of like a five stroke roll, but the sticking is different. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this one, you can literally create a whole drum solo from this one right. pattern. Yeah. So what you would do is same, it applies the same right hand, right foot, and you're going to move your right hand around, literally. Same, like you speed up a little bit, just move your right hand around and just listen to the pattern just changes. Yeah. So for example, be, so this is all going to be the same sticking. So same right, sticking. left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, right. And the left. kick comes in how? Every right hand. Every right. So right. I'll play right. that part slow. Gotcha. So. play this particular thing, is it in a quintuplet setting or do you do it like in 16th and it's like over the bar line, that kind of stuff? I honestly just do it for feel. Yeah. So like... Um, you kind of feel it out. Literally. Yeah, all right. Yep. And uh, there are times also where I would switch and I will move my left hand yeah. to the hi-hat. That opens up another avenue. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. for example... Yeah, that's a pretty sick like quintuplet style groove. Just doing, yeah, just doing it that way and bringing, bringing down the backbeat. But so yeah, the, I mean, the concept here is basically taking a sticking and applying the right, the, the bass drum to, in this case, all the right hand notes. All the right uh, hand. Do you have anything, anything else, any other approach? Like, do you ever, for example, like completely omit notes and just replace notes with the bass drum instead? Like, let's say you do like a parallel thing, and because now you're playing the right hand with the bass drum, do you ever like? Take yeah. something out, like so, it could be yes. a left hand, it could be a right, it could be anywhere in the pattern. You have a fill that you like and you just remove something. So I like to do a paradiddle diddle. Yeah. But instead of my left hand, it's gonna be replaced with my right foot. Yeah. So 
You, you do that one, and you get your left hand doing like a st stick twirl. You are officially like a rock drummer. So you're like a, <laughs> you're, you're the main attraction. I don't know if I could do this on the first take, but oh, you, you know how to do there, it. There's a group that I I, I was working okay, on. Okay, see now I'm excited. I don't I don't know how to twirl sticks. I I never learned how to twirl sticks. It is a but fake this to way. me this it's to me is way. like yeah. If you can do that thing on your right side, it frees up your left hand. You go woo. You do that thing. So yeah, this it, it, this is a fake way. Yeah, but I do <laughs> so, one so just for posers. Like we don't do that around here. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this in one take. All but right. I, I, this is one I do where I, I do a stick flip with my left while doing that pair of between Oh shit! Them. Yeah. So I'm gonna try it. This is this I'm is a one it. take, folks. We we're doing <laughs> what we can out here. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Fingers crossed. You got it. I, you, got, I mean, you got it once. I got to speed up a little bit. Oh, so. you got to speed up. I have to speed up. Is it somehow easier when it's... Yeah, it is. Really? I don't know why, but... It, yeah. All right. So. All right. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's all you're going to get. That's, that's pretty wild. No, that's oh pretty wild. Gosh. <laughs> Good oh, one. my goodness. All right. Well, <laughs> there, there's, there's a gold mine of stuff to do with this kind of approach, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, Again, for any one of you who, who out there are watching this and feel like you're, you're always playing the same kind of fills and your bass drum is sort of just left out of the equation, bring it along for the ride. Like, throw the bass drum underneath your right hand strokes, take some strokes out like you did here, like remove the left hand and put everything that you played with your left now goes on the kick. And should also be mentioned, this goes for your left foot as well. A quick, quick, uh, humbling story. Yes. So I, I was on FaceTime with Tony Burster, right? <laughs> as, as you are. <laughs> yeah. And, um... <laughs> I, he, he just said, what, what are you working on? Yep. And I, I showed him, so just, I was like, I was, I was working on this thing. Right? Yeah. He was like, okay, okay. And then he put me through an exercise. All he right. said, I want you to play a pair of diddles with your feet at this tempo. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, a pair of diddles on the snap. Yeah, tell so, you, so twice as fast on the yeah. hands, and yeah, that's because then they don't really line up. No, yeah. no, and he did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I was like, yeah, and he was like, oh, you just showed me all this stuff, and you can't even play a pair of them. Yeah, 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 I'm like, I can't. Well, when you put it that way, yeah, I, I guess I, I can't. can't. <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing. Like we get, we get, we get sort of locked up in our head where some notes are like glued together in our brain. Like they have mm -hmm. like that, that right hand on that thing in that context has to be played with a kick because that's yeah. how you practiced it. And yep. as soon as you try to sort of separate the two, it just falls apart. And that's basically this, right? Yeah, yeah, I fell apart. All right, well, that's, a, that's an extra little tidbit at the end. Good exercise, good thing to work on. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me for this. This was a blast, Thank you for good me, tips man. in there. Yep. Thanks for all of you, to all of you for watching, uh, coming in and checking out our stuff here at Sweetwater Drum Month. And uh, maybe this was the last video in the order that you'll see. Depends on how, it depends on the order you're watching this. I'll say what I said at the end of the others. See you in the next one, and then we'll just see if there is a next one. <laughs> all right? <laughs> yep, yep. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.